Hello, in this video we're going to look at graphing indifference curves when the utility function takes on the properties of perfect complements. Perfect complements will have a utility function displayed by this general format here where utility is the minimum of either these two numbers a times x or b times y. This type of utility function will give shape to L-shaped indifference curves and the key to graphing these is finding the elbow on the L or where the kink of the L is. So I'll first do this uh, in a general format here and then we'll do some examples with specific numbers. So the general format is say you want to find an indifference curve where utility equals some value um, I'll call that u subscript 1. What you're going to do is you're going to take whatever we have here, 2x, 3x, so again this isn't just in general, so ax, and you're going to set that equal to u subscript 1. Then you're going to just solve for x. So what you found is one point that's going to correspond on this uh, elbow here of the L-shaped indifference curve. To find the corresponding y value, we're going to do a, a similar thing. We're going to take whatever over here. Uh, it could be like 4 times y or just y. And here again, it's just in general format, b times y. And we're going to set that to some level of utility that you're interested in. Uh, in this case, it's just again, just in general, u subscript 1. So we have that down here. We're going to divide through by b. And now you have the, the, the uh, coordinates that define this uh, point on the L-shaped indifference curve. So the elbow or kink of the L-shaped indifference curve occurs at the following point that we found over here on the left. All right, so this will be easier if we do some specific numbers. So here's a utility function. Again, this perfect complements. Utility equals a minimum of 2x or y. And say we want to graph an indifference curve where u equals 20. So I'm going to set 2x equal to 20 and dividing through by 2, x equals 10. And then I'm going to set what's over here equal to 20. And so we just simply get y equals 20. And over here, that y equals 20 and x equals 10 defines the elbow on the L-shaped indifference curve where u equals 20. Okay, so you find that elbow, and then you're going to do a vertical line up from that elbow, and then a horizontal line exactly across from that elbow point. And all points along this L-shaped indifference curve give this consumer exactly 20 units of satisfaction. You know, for example, if y equaled 30 right here and x equals 10, if we were to plug y equals 30 and x equals 10 into this utility function, well, what would you get? So it would be the minimum of 2 times 10 or 20. Y equals 30, so the minimum of 20 and 30 is just 20. Uh, we could do a similar thing down here. If Y is 20 and say we plugged in, I don't know, X equals 18. Uh, if you were to plug those values, X equals 18 into here, you'd get 36. And then over here, we would have 20 for Y. Utility is a minimum of those two numbers. It's still 20. All right, let's do one other example. Uh, this time, let's find an indifference curve for the same utility function, but this time where utility is 10 uh, throughout. So setting 2x equal to 10, dividing through by 2, x equals 5, and then setting what's ever over here equal to 10, uh, y equals 10, and we're just going to graph that point. So here's where x equals 5. And here is where y equals 10. We found the elbow. Just a vertical line up from that elbow and a horizontal line across from that elbow. And you have found all values of x and y that give the same level of utility, in this case, 10. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.